This is chapter 9-2, the Pythagorean Theorem. Please copy your cuts. All right, to begin, I'm going to say this up front. This theorem is something we should already know. So this one should be a piece of cake, easy breezy for us. Let's just quickly state that the um, theorem 9.4 is the Pythagorean Theorem. Remember, we always, I always state that not... It's not necessary so much to remember the number, but remember the name of the theorem, postulate, or the, um, and the definitions. In this particular case, Pythagorean theorem, in a right triangle, keyword is a right triangle, okay? Not in a cube, not in a two. So in a right triangle, the square length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the legs. So what does that mean? Okay, the square length of the hypotenuse. So in this particular triangle here, and triangle A, B, um, this triangle here, leg C is the hypotenuse, okay? So the square length of the hypotenuse, the square length would be C squared, and it says that the square of the hypotenuse is going to be equal to the sum, and sum means add, is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths, lengths of the other two legs. So the hypotenuse squared is going to be equal to the First, or the smaller leg squared plus the medium leg squared. So um, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. You already know that some people say A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. I really don't care which way you want to go. So if you want to go A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, fine. If that's how you remember it, that's what you're All right? So in other words, the hypotenuse squared is equal to leg squared plus leg squared. This is only true for a right triangle. All right, so here it is. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. The longest leg is always going to be the hypotenuse on a right triangle. And the um, hypotenuse or the longest leg on a right triangle is always opposite the right angle. And it has that marker in the corner. Or it will say in the problem that whatever angle, if this is angle T, they will say angle T is the right angle or what have you. All right, so moving further. The longest leg is always the hypotenuse. If all the legs on a right triangle are positive integers, then you will have a Pythagorean uh, triple. Okay? So if A, B, and C are all positive values, so if A is equal to 3, B is equal to 4, and C is equal to 5, that's going to be called a Pythagorean triple because uh, all three are positive. And at the same time, C squared, which will be 25, is equal to A squared, which will be 9, plus 16, is equal to 25. Okay, so two things happen on a Pythagorean triple. Number one, all three of the legs are positive. And number two, this statement, if you plug the values, will be true. So 5 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared are both balanced on both sides. Okay. Find the missing leg on the following triangle. I have a three, four. We've basically just done this one right here. Okay, we know the equation for Pythagorean theorem is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. In this case, what is the hypotenuse? It's opposite the 90 degree angle. In this case, it's called r. So r squared plus a squared is three squared plus the uh, second leg is four squared by substitution. We plug the values in. R squared is equal to 9 plus 16. R squared is equal to 25. We know what R squared is. R squared is 25, but what is the value of R? Again, we know the value of R squared, which is 25, but what's R by itself? And the opposite of squaring a number is taking the square root on both sides. So the square root of R squared is equal to the square root of 25. R is going to be equal to 5. Now, just for um, just a quick reminder, it doesn't matter which one you call A and which leg you call B. So if I wanted to go A was 4 squared plus 3 squared is equal to the R squared, it will still work. The only thing you cannot switch is the C. C must always be the hypotenuse or the longest leg. You can switch A and B around. You go C squared is equal to B squared plus A squared. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one you call A, which one you call B. What is important is that you must write the hypotenuse or the longest leg as C. That cannot be changed. Okay? And again, as I've already stated, because A, B, and C are all positive integers, it makes C squared plus C squared, excuse me, equal to A squared plus B squared true. 
And since this statement is true, we call this, again, a Pythagorean triple, a Pythagorean triple. And those are your notes for 9-2.